Hello all, myself Janil. Let us begin a new chapter particle size analysis. So, we are analyzing particle sizes in this chapter. In this image, you can see, see that different bubbles are having different diameters, different sizes. Let us discuss this chapter with starting of coarse and fine grained soils. Let us differentiate coarse grain and fine grain soils. So, if your 50% of soil or more than 50% of soil is having diameter more than 75 micron, then the soil will be coarse grained soils. The grains are coarse because more than 50% of grains are having size 75 micron. Same, if the 75 micron size lesser than uh, same way if more than 50 percentage of the bubbles or we can say particles are less than in size 75 microns then it is a fine grained soil if the soil is cohesion less then it will be a coarse grained soil if it is a cohesive soil then it is a fine grained soil cohesion means the attraction between the particles which are of same material. So, if the soil is having some cohesion, it, it will be a fine grain soil. Now, if we talk about examples of coarse grain soils, it will be a gravel and sand. So, you see gravels on the river side are having cohesion less bonding. Same way, if you see cohesive soil like silt and clay, they are coarse, uh, fine grain soils. Same way, Coarse grain soils are non-plastic soils, where fine grain soils are plastic soils. Plasticity means the moldability we can say, for right now we can say moldability is plasticity. So, if the soil is having some plasticity property or moldability property, then it will be a fine grain soil, otherwise it will be a coarse grain soil. Amount of water absorbed will be less in coarse grain soil. So, it is but obvious if it is a cohesion less soil, then it will absorb less amount of water and it will be a coarse grain soil. Where if it is absorbing more water, then it will be a fine grain soil because cohesion will require more amount of water. Electrochemical forces between particles are weak in coarse grain soils. So, in coarse grain soils, electrochemical forces Electrochemical means it is including electrons and protons etc. These forces are weak in coarse grain soils. That is why it is a cohesion less soil. Where in fine grain soils the electrochemical bondings and forces between particles are strong. So this is how we can differentiate coarse grain and fine grain soils. Moving forward to particle size distribution. So now particle size distribution, how to distribute them in the different sizes, for that there are two basic ideas or tests, first dry and second one is wet. So we can say dry analysis and wet analysis. Now dry means sieve analysis, where wet means sedimentation analysis. When we are talking about dry analysis you will need CGS or you are having CGS coarse grain soils right in coarse grain soils particle size will be greater than 75 microns as we have discussed before this slide in wet analysis the soil should be particle size having less than 75 micron and particle size here should be more than 50 percentage of particles should be of these sizes that is how we can differentiate CGS and FGS. It is very obvious. Now, for dry sieve analysis, we can do coarse sea size analysis and fine size analysis. For coarse size analysis, you need 4.75 to 80 mm size of soil, where fine size analysis you need to have 0.075 to 4.75 mm uh, size of soil as well as CUs are of should be this sizes. In wet analysis, if we talk, you should use hydrometer method or pipette method. 
these both are similar methods both are different but both are almost similar methods through that you can uh, calculate or distribute the sizes of wet analysis or we can say fine grain soils so this is basic flow chart of this chapter now if we move further in dry analysis as sieve analysis so objective of sieve analysis is to determine grain size distribution of soil so basically grain size distribution so grain sizes should be acknowledged here now equipment required for that is sieves of all sizes from 4.75 mm to 100 mm so is sieve is basically a sieve of indian standard so indian standard suggests some uh, sizes specific sizes of sieves so you need 4.75 to 100 mm uh, different sizes of sieves and again second range for uh, fine sieve fine size uh, analysis 4.75 mm to 75 micron size sieves you need weigh balance with accuracy of 0.01 grams so you need weigh balance so uh, the sieves should be racked like this they are stacked like this one sieve second sieve third sieve they fit into each other and the larger meshes from uh, the larger particles will be here sieves will vary with from larger meshes to smaller or finer meshes and particles will be like this only and in the last pan should be kept which will be in transparent or which will not pass any type of soil that is receiver only so moving forward to reference the reference is given by is 2720 now it is part 4 right so this is code suggests this procedure now let us go to procedure first step very first step you will do for sieve analysis is take 1000 g of soil sample from distributed sorry disturbed representative sample now disturb the sample and undisturbed sample very basic idea uh, let me give that disturbed sample is what when you disturb the soil structure like you dig and remove the soil there is a disturbed sample but undisturbed sample is what without disturbing any soil structure you can uh, cut the core of that and that will give you undisturbed soil sample so we will take normal digged or disturbed sample here for sieve analysis but the base would be 1000 g of soil sample second step that is conduct sieve analysis using a set of standard sieves as given in the data sheet so data sheet will provide you the sizes of sieves the sieving may be done either by hand or by mechanical sieve shaker for 10 minutes so these are the racking or stacking of the sieve right you can see this in the figure now you will do what you will shake all the sieves by hand or mechanical sieve shaker so in generally uh, in lab mechanical sieve shakers are there and they do what they shake them uh, in a harmonical uh, or in a systematic manner after 10 minutes all the soil will be uh, distributed in the different uh, sieves so if the 1000 g sieve uh, if the 1000 g of soil is put on the top of this uh, stack the soil will be distributed in all the different is sieves right after 10 minutes so now fourth step will be weigh the material retained on the sieve so on each sieve there will be some material and you have to weigh that material after weighing that material you will get to know what are the sizes of the sieves so let us move to next step the percentage retained on each sieve is calculated on the basis of total weight of the soil sample now you know total weight of the soil sample was 1000 grams now if 10% of that is retained on the second sieve then you will get to know 10% of soil is like this same way 
if we go uh, further you will get to know it clearly next step is from these results the percentage passing through each of the seals is calculated as we have talked percentage passing from each seal should be calculated if the 1000 gram is on the top uh, top of the seal and in the second seal if 500 grams is there 50 percentage is passed and 50 percentage is retained on the second stick or second IS seal so you will get to know what are the sizes or distribution of soil draw the grain size curve so you need to draw a curve for the soil in the semi logarithmic graph provided so you need to draw a graph too we will get to know how to draw that let us understand this right now after this you will fill a observation table in this observation table these are the different uh, column heads are given serial number iscu mass retained in grams mass retained in percentage cumulative retained and cumulative percentage passing so these are the column heads now different sizes of seals as in the data sheet is given 20 mm 10 mm 4.75 2 mm 1 mm 600 micron 425 micron 300 micron 150 micron 75 micron and at last receiver or the pan is kept now let us go into depth of observation table here if the mass is retained uh, 1 gram you will put 1 gram here if it is 100 grams you will write 100 grams here now uh, distributing all the uh, weighing all the seals and uh, retaining soil of that seal you will write here some mass total mass of this all seals will make 1000 gram right because you have taken 1000 gram initially so you'll get distribution of the soil after that you will fill the second column which is percentage mass retained so if it is 100 grams and total was 1000 grams it is a 10% of that so you'll write down 10% here cumulative retained so in the second column if you are putting in the uh, sorry in the second row if you are putting the value of cumulative retained so 10 mm cu will retain uh, two data first we will retain two soils which is uh, retaining on 20 mm and passing from 20 mm both so you will write cumulative figures here and you will write percentage cumulative figures in this column so this is how you will prepare observation table of that from observation table you will prepare a graph which is called particle size distribution curve here the S shaped curve is seen here the y axis here is percentage passing and x axis is showing particle uh, diameter in mm so this is a semi logarithmic graph so you are seeing the graph like this in this the values are put and the graph in this S shape can be obtained here uh, three points are very much important d10 d30 and d60 here d10 is here d30 is here somewhere and d60 is here what is d10 so d10 is particle size such that 10 percentage of them are finer so d10 is a point where it is defined as particle size such that 10 percentage of them are finer than that so uh, d60 will be same way particle size such that after that 60 percentage of them are finer than that size right and same way d30 box so uh, this is the procedure for testing sieve analysis that is how you will get to uh, prepare a particle size distribution curve or grading curve so that's it for this lecture we will understand uh, further technicalities in next video thank you